Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's for our NFL Week 7. Uh, it's pretty late Saturday night, 10.30, 10.39, so uh, I'm running through this kind of quick. Uh, we got another London game, early game. I got one play, uh, possibly two, but I played one. Keyshawn, uh, you could read it. Keyshawn B, we'll call him. Uh, receiving yards over 19 and a half, minus 113, FanDuel. Line did go up, open at 16 and a half. Uh, got a little bit late, but um, I still feel good with it. These last two games, he's been getting a lot of action. He's only missed two passes, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. He had seven throws, uh, nine throws, caught seven. Nine attempts, caught seven. The last three games, trending upwards. So definitely building some uh, chemistry with the quarterback. Uh, low yardage. And he's easily went over this last two games. So. Average yard per reception is 14. I mean, obviously, they break it down between all the games, but averaging about two catches a game. Playing Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville overall, 30, uh, 31st. Receiving yards to the wide receiver position, ranked 30th. So uh, they let him catch that ball and getting some yards. Uh, there was another play I liked. Um, Gabe Davis, um, 32 and a half receiving yards. They have it on DraftKings. Um, I had to empty my DraftKings account pay, <coughs> and pay some bills. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I didn't feel like moving money over there. And they got it at 34 on uh, FanDuel. So I didn't take it. But other than that, I would have took it. So, yeah, that's it for this game. Let's get it. Uh, since he had uh, Cleveland, I went with uh, Andre Isovalis. Uh, long reception over 13 and a half handle, minus 120. Now, I always juggle between reception yards, long reception, you know what I mean? Because it's like, ah, what do you do? Or if you don't get it? But uh, they got a 13 and a half, and he's been going over it. Uh, getting uh Averaging two receptions in games, but he's been getting more than that. Uh, well, not necessarily, right? Two, three, two, one. But uh, break it down to yards. He got his receiving yards at 22 and a half. He's been going over that as well. But uh, he's basically been doing it almost in one catch. This game, he had a 29 yarder. He ended with 36. That one, 39 yards, ended with 39. Game before that, 29, 29. 52 yards, uh, 16. 26, 13. So, you know, he's basically uh, catching some deep balls. And, uh, I looked into it, and Cleveland's given up some some long balls, so I'm not really worried. Uh, overall, they're ranked 10th receiving yards, uh, third, uh, 19th to the wide receiver position. So, uh, yeah, I just figured instead of 22 and a half, in case he only gets one reception, he's going to go over uh, 13 and a half. 
You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get it. He's all right. He's good for any time touchdown, too, sometimes. They look for him in the red zone. And so next up, I went with a uh, kicker. Young Ho Cool. Played him before. You guys might remember him. All right. Kicking points over seven and a half. Minus 130, Fandle. Uh, he's been clearing this pretty easily. Four out of six games. Uh, his last couple games have been doubling it, basically. He uh, he can kick the ball real good, real far. Uh, he's only missed, like, two for the year. Hit 54-yarder, 58-yarder, 54-yarder. What ends up happening is they get around the 50, say the 40, 38-yard line, and... Uh, Instead of punting it or whatever, they just kick field goals. Uh, as well as the Kirk Cousins, been, you know, the whole team been balling. Uh, They've been putting up touchdowns too. So a couple field goals, a couple, couple of extra points, and uh, easy cash. Or just three field goals. Either way, we'll get it. Um, should be a back and forth game. Seattle and at, at Atlanta, it's indoor too, so that's good. Um, I did like Pitts on this too. I didn't play it, but uh, Koo's the only player I played. But uh, I mean, you can go a lot of ways. Pitts, Mooney, uh, Ray Ray. I just I feel like this is the best play for the game. Uh, let's get it. All right, so next up, I went with uh, Jordan Love, QB at the Green Bay Packers. Rushing yards over eight and a half, minus 113, FanDuel. Uh, little variation, nothing crazy. Overall, ranked 14th. To, uh, rushing yards to the quarterback, ranked 29th. Now, he was hurt, and he just came back, I think, two games ago. Uh, he ain't going over this by much, but uh, he went over it the last two games. And with the way I'm kind of figuring is uh, Houston got some good DBs and stuff and safeties. So if they, uh, you know, just, just tie up them receivers, he might try to take off a little bit, as well as they allow, you know, they rank 29th, allowing 32 yards to the quarterback per game. So... Eight and a half, that's one little scramble. Should be an easy go. A uh, couple rushing attempts again, they'd be going out. Dink, dink, dink. So, yeah, I'm not worried. All right, next up. Uh, I want Joe Mixon receiving yards over uh, yeah, it's one of them days. Uh, it's tobacco. I know that. Coming up on 17 months clean. No drugs, no drinking. But it's one of them days. So uh, let's go. Joe Mixon receiving yards over 17 and a half. Uh, overall, Green Bay is ranked 25th. So, uh, to the running back position, ranked 29th. Uh, it's been uh, trended in the right direction. 19, 25, 30. Uh, getting a couple of receptions, a couple of targets. Uh, he's exceeded 17 and a half, five of his last six games versus the bottom. 10 defense. So, uh, yeah, should be a good game, too. So, you know, how I am with these plays, the check downs, basically situational football, check down, stuff like that, third down conversions. Um, and they're giving up the yards. So, I'll give them up tomorrow. Let's get it. Joe Mixon, 17 and a half. Next up, Giants. Uh, Phillies at Giants. Uh, first game back with Barkley. Uh, Saquon, 
I liked a couple plays for him, but I got to the games today. All day, man, I've been sitting there going through them. Kind of, kind of, uh, I like football, but it gets annoying, you know. Um, I went with Slayton receiving yards over 24 and a half. Now, Fandle 138. It's 145 on DraftKings. So I need multiple books, people. Um, it's cleared this, what, three, five, five out of six. Uh, what's his name's coming back? Should be back from the concussion, uh, Neighbors. So it uh, might take away a little bit, but I think that's why the number's low anyway. But uh should be all right. Uh, ranked 22nd, receiving yards, 24th to the wide, re wide receiver position. Now, his targets and everything, like I said, they went way up since Naples has been out, but uh, he's been going over it anyway with him. And I think they've been, they built a kind of chemistry, and uh, numbers just too low anyway. He should be all right. And, uh, you know, Daniel Jones is going to, you know, he was a giant just as long, not as long as Barkley, but you know what I mean. They were on that team together, so he feels the type of way about this, too. He's not going to try to lose. And they, uh, they've, you know, they're not the great, a great team, but they, they've been fighting and clawing and, and doing better. So, uh, to tell you the truth, the stats, Daniel Jones' stats are just as good as, uh, and that's not saying much, uh, what's his name, the quarterback of the Eagles. Can't think of his name. Uh, can't think of his name. What's his name? I know his name. But uh, yeah, Darius Slayton. Let's get it. Uh, and like I said, I liked uh, Barkley's receiving yards. That was the only play that I would play because it's not 70 yards. They got his receiving yards at like 18 or something. But uh, I didn't play it, but I would play it. If I didn't play so many other plays. Let's get it. Hurts. Hurts. Yeah. Alright, if uh if this worked out for you, hit that like button. Uh, new viewers, subscribe and let's turn on the notifications so you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. I give them to you guys. Uh, I don't give you anything I don't bet. So I, was, I like to keep you informed and in the loop. And you guys know that the ones who've been riding with me. Um, if you could, too, leave a comment. Like some comments. Hope get the videos out there. As well as its interaction between me and you guys. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, been doing this a couple months, YouTube. And, and I'm trying to get the subs up there. So I'm not getting paid for it. It does take me a while to do this. And uh, the comments and the interaction, it makes it worth it. But, uh, and everyone who does comment and stuff, I do appreciate you. You know who you are. But uh, James Williams, I went with longest reception over 21 and a half yards. He's another one who gets a lot of long balls, deep balls. Whoa, hey, yo. Uh, what is it? Minus 120 Fandle. Uh, he's cleared this four out of five. He's getting a couple of receptions, a couple of targets. Nothing crazy, but. He's getting mad yards a game. Uh, he doesn't need to get that many. But what I did do is I looked back through the last couple games, the teams that played in Minnesota, and uh, with the guys receiving yards. At? The guys receiving yards at 48 and a half. And uh, like four plays on the Jets cleared this number. The team that played them before that cleared this. So basically, he's once again, he's getting yards like that. It says yards, and those are long receptions. So he's basically getting them. That's why I chose long receptions over yards. The method to my madness. Uh, there is one more play I played um, for the Bills game. I played uh, first quarter rushing yards over... I think it's 12 and a half for uh, James Cook. If you go on FanDuel, they'll have it. Go to rushing and go down to the bottom. It'll say James Cook, first quarter rushing. Uh, it's over 12 and a half. Uh, 
I've been playing first quarter receiving yards for Dalton Kincaid. They've all the last six weeks they've had it at three and a half. They just brought it up to seven and a half, so I laid off it. Um, it never got into the four o'clock games. I think there's three of them, and then there'll be an eight o'clock game. Uh, I'll look into them tomorrow, drop them in the community if I find any other plays. Uh, look out for live bets. There's definitely a few plays I liked. They don't have lines for them yet. Uh, certain certain running backs aren't in the game or don't have lines out yet but because they're hurt or whatever or certain positions for that matter. There's a couple of tight ends. And once they put the back of in and drop lines for them, uh, I'm going to hammer them just like I always do. Uh, commit that sportsbook robbery. Uh, yeah, so Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.